China unveils AI, artificial intelligence news anchor, that's almost indistinguishable from a real human. AI is a high priority for the regime to strengthen its authoritarian rule. By This by Sean Lin on Humans Are Free. Now here you have the right, on the right we have the screenshot image of the real life news anchor on the N Xiai finance program and the left we have the N Xiai's AI rendering virtual twin in the blue background from the Epoch Times. And he says, hello everyone, I am the artificial intelligence news anchor on National Business Daily. I am the virtual twin of the original host. I have been running, reporting the news, undetected for 70 days now. The AI news anchor, and Xiaohui, reveals itself to its television viewers on December 20th, 2021, after 1700 hours of continuous live news broadcast. On the same day, the Chinese state-controlled media National Business Daily NBD and the AI company Chaois jointly announced the official launch of their collaborative live news broadcast TV programs run entirely by AI, the first of its kind. The TV program is named AI Business Daily. It will broadcast financial news 24 hours a day, seven days a week, hosted by two AI news anchors named N. Chao Hui and N. Chao Bei, technically supported by Chao Yis. The N. Chao Hui and N. Chao Bei are virtually replicas of two real-life news anchors, a man and a woman. Chao Yis framework uses data collected from the two real-life anchors to train its AI models. Meanwhile, Chao Yis neutral neural rendering, XNR for short, Technology makes it virtual human's facial expressions and body movements look real and natural. AI anchors have appeared in China's TV programs in the past, but they could be identified immediately back then. And since the test launch of AI Business Daily October 11, 2011, uh, 21, and Xiaohui's Du Yin account, the Chinese version of TikTok has accumulated over 3 million fans despite the real person not appearing on air for 70 days. I highly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. Chao Yis, in collaboration with NBD, demonstrated its ability to develop virtual replicas that are almost indistinguishable from real humans through advanced AI learning and rendering technologies, according to the Chinese state-run Xinhua News Agency. And according to the report, Zhao Yi's framework small sample learning technology allows the two virtual humans to complete their training cycle in one week. Chinese business commentator Zhen Xiaoling said, that long training cycles were needed to train AIs in the past, whereas short training cycles significantly reduced the high cost of developing AIs. Not only that, the Chao Yi's framework's technical driver makes the end-to-end -end automation on AI possible, enabling the AI to collect, edit, and broadcast financial news all by itself. From reading financial information, generating text and graphs, and synchronizing with a pre-trained virtual anchor, the AI could broadcast a complete live video on the network within any human, without any human assistance. The era of an unwearied, safe, and reliable AI being has arrived, Zhao Yi's CEO Di Ling said. It's going to provide a steady news output. According to an NBD report, AI news anchors are modeling, modeled using deep learning neural network technology, enabling them to broadcast in Mandarin, English, and other languages. The advanced AI technology is now being used to upgrade and transform the Chinese media industry, as well as its film industry. Since the success of the AI Business Daily program, each NBD news channel will now also fully collaborate with Chao East to create AI TV programs. 
Chavis or Microsoft Little Ice is an AI system developed by Microsoft Asia in 2014. The company was formerly known as AI Chavis Team of Microsoft Software Technology Center Asia. It is Microsoft. It is Microsoft's biggest independent AI R&D team. In July 2020, Microsoft spun off its Chavis business into a separate company, allowing it to operate as an independent entity in China and other Asian countries. The Chavis framework is one of the world's complete artificial intelligence frameworks with the largest AI interactions globally. Chavis CEO D. Lee said in October 2021 that a large number of AI subjects were created in the past two years and the number will rapidly expand. Lee expects AIs to eventually outnumber the human population while incorporating diversity and individual customization. On October 20th, 2021, the ninth day after NBD's AI TV test launch, China's State Administration of Radio, Film and Television released a section of the 14th five-year plan detailing its strategy for news broadcasting and audiovisual networks. The plan proposes to strengthen AI applications in its new production and broadcasting, such as promoting the widespread use of virtual anchors in TV programs and improving news production and broadcasting efficiency using AIs. The AI risks. Artificial intelligence does not need to eat or sleep, nor does it get sick or need overtime pay, and now it can actively generate news content. However, many are also very concerned about the rapid development of AI. Mr. Wang, a 20-year IT industry expert in Japan, told Epoch Times that artificial intelligence has far surpassed humans in terms of calculating methods, performance, and learning ability. But the biggest problem is that it has no ethics, morals, or personal values. If this AI technology is in the wrong person's hand, it could be devastating to mankind. The current robotic technology is also very advanced. Some robots can even surpass humans or animals in many physical activities. Once AIs are given the ability to act physically, humans may not have the power to resist, granting the people in control of AIs the ability to do whatever they desire, Wang said. Senior media professional Xi Sang told Epoch Times that the Chinese regime has no bottom line for fraud. The CCP's AI technology can now produce a close to perfect virtual news anchor, but what is next? A fake politician? A party leader? Perhaps it has already been done, she said. The CCP is great at deceit. The international communities now have to pay close attention to the authenticity of China's audiovisual programs and other media content. Big data. Big data is the key to AI research and development. The more relevant data, the better the AI is trained. While rapidly developing its own artificial intelligence, the CCP deliberately limits the flow of Chinese data abroad. China uses its massive population for gathering and developing its local AI technology. Tang Bohua, a patent examiner at the United States Patent and Trademark Office, told the Chinese publication of Epoch Times that the CCP's lack of regard for human rights and privacy opens up a huge data set for them, while the United States' respects for these rights keeps data sets incomplete. On January 4th, the CCP introduced a new version of the Cybersecurity Review Measures. The newly updated rules will require all Chinese working platform companies with data on more than 1 million users to undergo a security review before listing abroad. A law professor at Taiwan's National Taipei University of Technology, Christy Yang, told Radio Free Asia on January 4th that she believes the 1 million user threshold most likely included all Chinese tech companies that may be seeking listing overseas. A strategic a priority. The CCP has prioritized AI development in recent years, making it a key national development strategy. It's mandated AI into many aspects of ordinary life, 
not only to survey and control its people, but also to use its massive population to spur development. To bolster the rapid development of AI, the CCP has issued a number of supporting policies and regulations, including its Made in China 2025 and 13th Five-Year Plan. In 2017, China State Council issued the New Generation Artificial Intelligence Development Plan, emphasizing the significance of AI in helping the government understand and control society. Artificial intelligence technology can accurately perceive, predict, and early warn the major trends of society. It can grasp people's cognition and physiological changes and proactively decide the responses. And this technology will significantly improve the ability and level of social governments. It's, it is irreplaceable for effectively maintaining social stability according to the plan. It will have a profound impact on government management economic security, social stability, and global government governance. Hong Kong finance and economic columnist Alexander Liao said, CCP believes the emerging technology revolution, artificial intelligence, can bring new life to the authoritarian system, which was on the verge of collapse. In 2013, the CCP proposed the modernization of national government systems systems and government's capacity plan and adopted its five years later in 2029 plenary. According to Qihua News Agency, a Chinese state-run media, the project is a series of institutional arrangements aimed at making China's government system increasingly complete, significantly scientifically standardized and operate more efficiently. In 2014, the CCP launched the social credit system, which linked the social behavior of all ordinary citizens with a large-scale monitoring system in mainland China. It adopted facial recognition and big data analysis technology to carry out large-scale social control with AI. By 2020, the system has been integrated into almost all public service fields, including employment, education, loan services, travel ticket purchases, and more. This control method has been fully popularized in the form of health codes during the CCP virus pandemic. All measures of modernization of govern governance are the basis for strengthening the CCP's authoritarian rule to ultimately achieve totalitarian control. And everything is rooted in artificial intelligence, Lao said. Ellen Wan contributed to the report. This is on Humans Are Free. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.